everybody, my name is Kenna McKee and I'm here to do the devotion with you. So um, where I'm gonna be is Isaiah chapter 55. And I just wanna share um, about the goodness of the Lord. So we just, us ladies just came back from the ladies retreat. So I'm just gonna kinda share about that and through scripture. So um, Isaiah 55, eight and nine, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. So in the planning of the retreat, you know, we first off, us ladies who, who started off, we pray continually to remind ourselves that it's the Lord's retreat and not ours and not to let our plans get in the way of his plans you know because we can we can make our own plans i don't know about you guys but i know i can and then i can get disappointed or things don't go my way you know and just remembering that you know when we do things for the lord it's his it's not it's not our way and so we did we had a couple um hiccups we weren't sure if we were going to have enough people so we thought we were going to have to cancel it and um but praise the lord we didn't you know and it was because the amount of people and you know we're used to having 60 or more and we had half that so we just we didn't think that we should do it but god knew and he um blessed us and we went ahead and did it and it was so funny because um the retreat center we thought we were going to have enough and you know financial because money's a real thing just with all the things we had planned for 60 some and then we only got 30 and and when i say we only got 30 it was we got the perfect amount we got just who the lord wanted to be there so our ways are not his ways but there was so then we come to find out we only have 30 people so we call the retreat center and um they just so happen to have another group that needs to come up that'll fill that gap that financial gap that we were supposed to um fill and um so we're like oh that's great what a blessing we can still have it no problem we get there nobody else is there so that group that was supposed to be there they messed up the weekends in the retreat. They came the weekend before. And so we had the whole place to ourselves. See, God knew our thoughts weren't his thoughts. His ways were higher than ours. We got to continue with the with the um, whole weekend and it was such a blessing. And this is what we got to experience by being faithful to the Lord. And another point, sorry, I um, when we had to cancel it, I was, or when we thought we had to cancel it, I was very aloof about it. like. Oh, well, I guess that's just what the Lord has, you know, like, hmm. And then I know that we pray, you know, help ladies, help the enemy not get in the way, not to distract them from coming or make an excuse because we're all busy. There's so many things that can keep us from the Lord. And this weekend was one of those mountaintop moments. Um, so I'm going to read what we, um, what happened to us in verses uh, 55, 10 through 13. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. We were so fed by the word. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish, accomplish, that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress, instead of the brier shall come up the myrtle and it shall make the name for the Lord an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. We went and we heard the word. We sang his praises. I think every woman there was, as you can see, I'm a little hoarse or maybe this is how I always sound. Um, but we were all just praising him at the top of our lungs. The singing, the worship was amazing. The teaching was amazing. And even our last, um, Sunday message was about joy and it says here go out in joy and even the ladies I talked to we were just so blessed and there was a lot of us were just crying and 
puffy eyes, but it was a thankful cry. It was a, God, you're good. Just the tears, you know, I felt like the, um, my theme is like uh, Isaiah 5, no, Isaiah 6, verse 5, when he's in the presence of the Lord and he realized what a unclean person person he is and he's just undone. I was just weeping. It was such a blessing. And we did not let those thorns come up in those trees. We didn't let the enemy have his way or our complacency or whatever it may be, the opposition. We let the Lord be glorified and he showed up because it was his retreat and it was just such a blessing. So with my little de Devo today, I just, I wanted to share with people who couldn't be there because it was a blessing. And some of you stayed back and I know I, we had, obviously the husbands or men couldn't go. And, but I know there was men and husbands lifting up us in prayers, ladies that couldn't go, but wanted to be there. They were lifting us up in prayer and it was just, we felt it and it was such a blessing. And I just, I thank our leadership for allowing us to plan these events and, and just really fill in those, um, all kinds of gaps for us and the Lord is faithful. And so I just want to encourage you that don't let the enemy rob you of your time with the Lord because it's so precious. And that's what's so sweet about a retreat is we get to go for a weekend and just let the cares of the world kind of fade away. You know, there's not the house cleaning or the things that women worry about, you know? And so um, for all you ladies who went, I love you and, and of course everybody else, but you know, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close in prayer and I just wanted to share the blessing, God's blessing of this weekend. So thank you guys for being here with me today and I'm going to close in prayer. God, you are so faithful. Lord, I thank you that we can go out in joy no matter what season we're in, Lord. It, it looks different in everybody's life and different situations, but God, you are faithful. You are so faithful, Lord. We love you, and I just lift up every brother and sister watching this today. May they not be robbed of their time with you. May they seek you and just desire to know you more, Father. God, you are so good. In Jesus' name, amen.